What's up guys? Uh, I want to share a video today on how we use squats to help people that have had back issues uh, or recovery from an injury or just want to kind of avoid this excessive back stiffness. So um, first, make sure you're cleared by your doctor. I am not a, a medical professional, so if you have a serious issue there, make sure you're cleared first. But this is just something we do to people who are ready to lift and then just want to kind of progress and, and stay healthy or maybe get a little stronger. So what we can see from the hips and one thing you'll notice is, is, is identifying where the hips are positioned. And some people, if we have this really arched back, this, this forward tilted pelvis and a really rounded lower back, that is kind of something that we would see, that we would encourage when teaching a deadlift, is a hip that turns forward. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these people kind of get stuck in that position. And that's, that causes a lot of tension in the lower back muscles, the erectors, very tight hamstrings. Stretching the hamstrings may not fix that. What we actually need to do is teach the pelvis to shift back and open up. And we see this most when we learn how to inhale. So the pelvis will then open up this pelvic inlet. So the top part is going to open and expand so that it can receive kind of our guts when we inhale. So it's more than just learning to breathe, but more putting us in positions that find that inhalation type posture. And I think the best way to do that is with the squat, which is kind of the opposite of our deadlift position. So the deadlift, hips go forward and kind of close off. The squat, they're going to open up, especially at the bottom of the squat. So this takes a very careful squat. If you're only squatting the partial depth, you're kind of not getting to that openness. So we want to use the bottom of the squat, whether that's from hanging out in a stretch, breathing patterns, or sitting on a low box, but even loading our squats and making sure we're finding these positions. So one thing that we're going to encourage is what the knees are doing to allow the hips to get down there. So when we think squats, some people say don't go knees forward, but we're going to encourage that. We're going to go just like an arm levers, the knees are going to come forward, but at the bottom of the squat, the knees should kind of come back to us. So I have this video coming up. It's one of our guys, Matt, uh, is demonstrating what we use as a Hatfield squat. So it's kind of a assisted squat that we can really encourage finding the bottom and opening up. And so Matt has had back surgeries. Uh, we were having a little discomfort from doing some deadlifts. So we chose the Hatfield squat to give him assistance to get to the bottom of the squat and focus on getting that nice inhale. And, and for him, it was kind of pushing into the back of the belt so he could feel that openness of the back of the pelvis and the sacrum. So I'm gonna pull the video, kind of walk you through it, and hopefully you can get some benefit out of this. So to start the Hatfield squat, we're gonna use a safety squat bar so we don't have to worry about holding on the bar. We're gonna set the pins about waist level. And the first thing I wanna cue is for him to really drive his heels into the floor. And you'll see that kind of tuck his hips backwards like we were talking. Then we're gonna inhale and try to think to fill up that lower back. That's gonna put us in that inhalation position at the bottom of the squat. What I want to cue is, is knees forward to start, but then pull them back into you at the bottom. And that's going to give us that expansion we're looking for in the back. To come up, we stay braced through our, our torso and really push the feet through the floor. So this is a pretty good weight. We're still getting a fitness effect. We're still building leg muscle, but while in the positions that are good for our back. So Matt does a great job of this. We actually got a, quite a bit of sets in. And by the end, his back was feeling a lot better. And we still got a pretty good leg training. So give it a shot.